You're watching Down for the Count, and I'm your host, Paul Verhoeven. We are looking at the sequels that nobody asked for. So here are seven of the suckiest sequels imaginable. First up, Grown Ups 2. Maybe a little bit sick in my mouth. Grown Ups wasn't great, so doing a sequel to the Adam Sandler helmed comedy seemed like a pretty stupid idea to begin with, but making it this bad just seems cruel. Next up, Son of the Mask. Do you like Jim Carrey? Do you like The Mask? Do you like functional movies that don't completely collapse the second you start watching them? Then you'll hate Son of the Mask. Speed 2 Cruise Control. Now, the first Speed was a fast, fun, action-packed thriller with Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. The second is slow, stupid, and is set on a boat. And it doesn't have any Keanu Reeves, and as we all know, things without Keanu tend to suck. Next up, Spider-Man 3. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man movies were rolling along very, very nicely, and then they had to just go and ruin it. Now, watching Tobey Maguire grow an emo fringe and dance creepily might have looked good on paper, but actually, you know what? No, it wouldn't have looked good on paper. And it didn't look good on screen or anywhere. Grease 2. A sequel to Grease? Yeah, all right, why not? Pros? Michelle Pfeiffer. Cons? Literally everything else. Batman and Robin. By the time this Batman film rolled around, people were pretty much done with the Batman franchise, but Arnie playing Mr. Freeze and an excess of bat nipples basically buried Batman thanks to this dumb, dumb movie. Jaws The Revenge. Michael Caine, questioned about Jaws The Revenge, stated, I have never seen it, but by all accounts, it is terrible. However, I have seen the house that it built, and it is terrific. Master Bruce. That's all the time we have today on Down For The Count. Make sure you like and subscribe somewhere down here, I think, and we'll see you next week. Bye.